What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of A Life With Cars. You guys are not going to believe where we're going today. Just you wait and see. I have such an awesome car that we're filming today. You guys are going to love it. So stick along for the ride. But I did want to say, check out in the rear view, dude. That is a nice yellow G-Wagon. Bad ass, dude. Let's see it. What's going on guys? We made it out to Brandon's house today and you guys are not going to believe what we have behind us. This is a sight to behold, but there's just a teaser, but let's meet Brandon first. What's going on, man? What's going on? This is Brandon, everybody, and he is the owner of this absolutely sick creation. What what did you dub the name of this thing yet? Uh, Hemi Bug. Hemi Bug, yeah. Yeah. Beetlejuice. We call it <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I also thought of a cool one on the way over here. Called it, call it the Thug Bug. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, that's awesome. But yeah, man, pretty awesome garage here too. He just got these murals in place, and uh, we got another one over there, and uh, just an awesome shop, awesome car, cool guy. <laughs> So yeah, uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about the creation, uh, kind of how you came about it, who built it? Yeah, so this was built in New Hampshire by Lucky Gunner Garage, uh, my buddy Gus up there. Uh, it took him about six months to build it. Um, just kind of started with, you know, he really wanted to trap a bug. Um, and then that kind of went to, you know, all of a sudden wanting to put a Hemi in, in the front and building a custom chassis. And, yeah. And he, and he did an amazing, amazing job. I, I followed it from the beginning. and. Had a bunch of people tag me on Facebook, it's like, you need to own this, you need to own this, and uh, he never really wanted to sell it, and then we just kind of kept talking throughout throughout the year, and and finally we, we made a deal, and I was lucky enough to, to get it, so um, it's really cool, he, you know, he chopped it six inches, um, it's sectioned seven inches, um, channeled uh, four inches. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then, it's uh, quite custom. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, Completely custom built chassis. The interior is all completely custom done. He hand does, hand did it all. It, it's it's unbelievable. Yeah. Um, it rides awesome. It's got independent suspension with QA1 coilovers. Um, it's got uh, 14 inch brakes, uh, disc brakes all the way around. Um, it's obviously, it's a 5.7 Hemi. Uh, it's pushing about 400 horse. The car weighs about 2,000 pounds. Um, so that's you know very light for all that much horsepower. Yeah, that is sick, man. I bet it scoots. It does. <laughs> As you can tell by the little wild. Tires, they, they do not, uh, the tread don't stay on it long. <laughs> That's for sure. CRX has got that issue with the front tires. <laughs> but yeah, man, this thing's sick. Uh, maybe uh, maybe we can get it started up. We're gonna go for a ride here in a bit, but uh, for you guys' as reference, uh, me and Brandon here, we're gonna create a little more of a cinematic video with this car. I just think that it deserves every bit of justice that I can do as an amateur cameraman to capture some of this stuff. I mean, you guys gotta see this interior before we get into it. It is absolutely awesome. Look at the diamond, the diamond style bead roll. The kind of custom are these custom seats? I'd imagine they built yeah, them for like this specific. Yeah, that's pretty there. awesome. And they actually do slide uh, back and Yeah, they got rails not and that, everything. Not that you need to slide. <laughs> there's not a lot of room, but. Yeah, that is sick. All the gusseting and everything. He even has the the diamond style pattern on the on the uh, dashboard. And the coolest thing, guys, you got to see this. Look at the door panels, man. That is some time in bead rolling right there. So yeah, I guess I. Uh, Maybe we'll get you to start it up and then down the road here we're gonna go for a drive. Cool. Yeah, at least let these guys hear it. It's absolutely sick. Look at these pipes, guys. think thug bug hemi bug it's pretty awesome creation right lucky guy right here <laughs> yeah i guess we're gonna take it down the road here all right guys so this is what it's like to be in a freaking rat rod bug here's the ceiling here's my head <laughs> this 
this a hydro e-brake setup? <laughs> yeah, so right now it's it's attached to the front brakes. Okay. Um, but you can switch the lines around and have it for the back for drifting. Uh. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I got it on the front now just because I drive a lot of traffic, so it's a lot easier to see sure. the sure. brake And then I did a big burnout for our gender reveal, so I just held that front brake in and just let the tires eat. That's perfect. This guy could have easily just backed up into that person's driveway and come on now. And then happy she's coming to get my trash right now. Dumpster's <laughs> cold. Catch up with you and get pictures. <laughs> I mean, I get some looks in the CRX, but nothing like this, man. You guys, people's reactions to this are absolutely priceless. We're just stopped here at the post office to make it a little drop. It's a little blustery in here, but oh my god, it's insane. Somebody coming out to look at it from the post office. <laughs> Everybody wants to see it. It's so cool. This ought to be fun. Let's see how many people come up to us at the gas station. <laughs> it's just a regular old day in the life of Brandon here. Yeah. <laughs> I <laughs> <laughs> one dude in the charger right before he walked up, he was like, can't weigh much. I was like, yeah, no, I think it's a little over 2,000 pounds, that's about it. <laughs> See the hemi bug, the thug bug. What year hemi? So awesome. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. Well, what did you think about that car? It was absolutely awesome. Thank you, Brandon, so much for every bit of your time today. And you guys are not going to want to miss the next episode of Life with Cars. We have a full cinematic shot with a lot more of Brandon's story with the car and how he came about it, a little bit more of the build, and some awesome cinematic B-roll. So be sure to stay tuned for another episode of Life with Cars, and we will see you next time.